Right, Teleo de Champs. Now what we have here is the Intel 1280p. Yes, this is an ultrabook part. We're gonna compare it to the M2. How much better is it or worse than the M2 Mac? Now, I am playing GTA 5 here. As you can see, this is at 1080p normal settings. I'm getting 90 FPS. 90 FPS, so it is an improvement over the last uh, Intel Iris graphics. This is an Ultrabook part, sits in between the U and the H part, so it will go in, you know, thinner and lighter laptops. I think it's very fair to compare this game into the M2, but being able to play here, GTA 5, at, you know, over 70 frames per second, 80 frames per second, 1080p, I mean, you've got to be happy with that. That one, you can play AAA games without the headache of doing like, you know, crossover or whatever with the Mac. And two, that we're doing it in an Ultrabook, right? A little bit of GTA love there, but you can see the temperature, mate. The temperature is well under control. It's only like 60 degrees, actually 56 degrees. Can you believe that? And still doing 80 frames per second with this 1280p, and yeah, I've got to say, it's a good par, but will it beat the M2? We'll test it in Tomb Raider in a sec, but we know that the AMD 6800U, well, we know that the M2 beats that in Tomb Raider, so yeah, I don't know if it's gonna beat the M2, but will it beat the M1? We know what the M1 does as well, but let's compare it and let's see which one's faster. But the fact that you can play AAA games at 1080p, yes, lower settings, but you can play AAA games is like a big plus now. We can do this on Ultrabooks now. Of course, this has Thunderbolt. So this is the MSI E16 Flip. It's a really unique laptop. It's like 16 inch, 16 by 10 display. It's two in one, it's Ultrabook, it's ultra light. And as you can see here, I can game on it. It's an Ultrabook and I can game. So let's see how it compares to the M2 in Tomb Raider. And we'll see which one's faster, right? Is it faster than the M1? Is it faster than the M2? Let's find out. All right, so we're in Tomb Raider now. This is the same settings for all the laptops I'm gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about the M2, the M1, and of course we know that the M2 is faster than the 6800U, the AMD processor. So if you're thinking of a laptop with that, the M2 is faster. So at these settings here, so this is 1200p high settings. The M1 gets 21 frames per second. The M2 gets 31 frames per second. So that's a delta of 10 frames per second M1 to M2. So there's a big jump from M1 to M2. Now this 1280p is better than the last Iris graphics. I can tell you right now, playing GTA 5 at 80 frames per second at 1080p is nothing to sneeze at. So I expect it to do okay, but I think you know, putting the settings up to high, it may struggle, all right? So let's just run the benchmark. Same settings, 1200p high, and we'll see, you know, what you gotta think of. 31 frames M2, 21 frames M1. Oh, there you go, 19 frames, 20 frames, straight off the back on this dark scene here. I've gotta say, I'm very impressed with this laptop. This is a cool laptop from MSI. Two in one, I made a video, my last video, check it out when I just cover what it has to offer. It's a really unique laptop, but you can see there, 20 frames per second. Yeah, so struggling a bit here, but remember that the average will get higher as we go through the scenes because there's more FPS to be gained in the other scenes. Uh, I think it's gonna fall just by the looks of it, having run this test quite a lot. It's gonna be maybe in between the M1 and M2. I'd maybe uh, it's going to be borderline with the M1. I don't think it's going to beat the M2 just by looking at this FPS. We'll look at the next scene here. Yeah, still under 31. So I don't think it's going to beat the M2 here. I think, yeah, it's okay at high settings. Maybe if I reduce the settings a bit, it'll be a bit better, but it just shows you how good the M2 is actually for integrated graphics for an Ultrabook sort of thing. You know, it really packs a punch for what it is. Um, yeah, I, I have nothing but praise for the M2 in the GPU department for an Ultrabook, but we can see here, it's not gonna do it. It's not gonna do 31 frames per second. We'll wait to the next scene. So this is the scene here where you'll, you know, higher the average of the FPS. We can see there the frame time, pretty smooth. There was a little bit of glitches there, but that's when it was changing scenes, but that's pretty smooth. So happy with the frame time there getting 28 frames per second, it's not gonna do that 31 average. It's gonna be probably low 20s if I was gonna guess there. And is that a glitch there? I'm not sure on the benchmark. 
maybe run that a uh, uh, video memory. Maybe I can go into BIOS and see if I can give you know the Intel XE graphics some more uh, memory there. I'll have to play with that, but we're just going to do this straight off the bat, see how they do uh, straight out of the box, how it performs compared to the M2. It's not going to beat the M2, no. Nah. The 1280p is an improvement. I, I can play GTA 5 all day, no problems with that. And it is in cooler boost mode, so it is in its high performance mode, but it's not gonna be 31 frames per second. It's gonna be very interesting. It is, you know, you can see there, it almost looks frame by frame sometimes. You're definitely gonna have to lower the settings to low if you wanna play at 1080p. And this is 1200p, so it's a higher resolution. If you play 1080p, uh, yeah, you'll get a better gaming experience, but let me see here. Is it gonna beat the M1? M1 is 21 frames per second at this settings uh, Can it beat the M1? Du, du, du. Let's see 20 <laughs> Exactly the same as the M1. Wow, okay So that's the M1 base model. So the actual one with more GPU cores is actually a little bit faster So it's on par with the M1 in terms of GPU performance, I guess so yeah, well done Apple, the M2 is 10 frames per second faster than 1280p, and it is actually faster than the 6800U from AMD as well. So Apple, when it comes to GPU performance for Ultrabooks is, yeah, it's right up there. Yeah, anyway, catch you in the next one. Tally ho.